So welcome to part two of PYQ series for ACS final students. Okay, final year students. Uh, this is for the first chapter: electric charges and fields of physics. So before we start, please subscribe the uh, subscribe the channel and uh, hit the thumbs up button if you like my videos and also share with your friends. It's for me to create new contents for you. Help me to grow my channel. Okay, and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Okay, so and uh, if you want to follow me on Insta, then you can follow me. This is my Insta ID. Oza, look at it. One twenty three. This is my Insta ID. Okay. So now let's start. So in this video, we're going to discuss another important question that is find an expression for electric field at any point on an axial line of an electric dipole. And same question was uh, asked in 2015 as well, after 2012. Uh, in 2015 also it was asked, but uh, in that question, uh, you have to define electric dipole as well as electric dipole moment, right? So let me uh, give you the answer okay so let me take a new slide first let me define electric dipole okay what is electric dipole electric dipole right so electric dipole is a pair of charge charges electric dipole is a pair of equal and opposite charges pair of equal and opposite charges and separated by very small distance very small distance right so that is what electric dipole mode uh, electric dipole mean suppose we have a positive q charge here and here we have same amount of charge but which is opposite in nature and uh, they are separated by a very small distance suppose twice a then this is called an electric dipole right so let me introduce another quantity that is electric dipole moment electric dipole moment dipole moment so what does it mean electric dipole moment right now you see electric dipole moment of an electric field electric sorry electric dipole moment of an electric dipole so electric dipole moment electric dipole moment of just uh, let me see this one here of an electric dipole is the is defined as is defined as the product as the product of either charge uh, magnitude of uh, you know product of the magnitude of either charge and the charge of the electric dipole and dipole length 
and the charge of the electric dipole and the dipole length dipole length means suppose let me take this case so here we have two charges positive q and positive ne uh, sorry negative q and they are separated by a very small distance twice a and this tw distance twice a is called dipole length right so therefore the dipole moment is given by uh, so we can write uh, like this suppose suppose a dipole consists of equal and opposite charges plus q and minus q right and separated by a very small distance separated by a very small distance suppose to I say twice say then dipole moment the dipole moment is given by symbol to represent we use the p okay and dipole moment is a vector quantity so here we can write q into twice a this should be taken as vector quantity the dipole length okay and uh, it is directed uh, you know from positive to you know negative uh, sorry negative to positive direction right okay directed the directed from negative to positive charge right so this is uh, this is what dipole moment mean okay so hope you have understood this that means if you have a dipole so let me bring it here suppose if you have a dipole then direction of its dipole moment will be from negative charge to positive charge this will be the direction of dipole moment right so hope you have understood this so now what we're going to do now let us obtain let us obtain the expression for uh, you know expression for electric field at any point on an axial line of electric dipole so take the screenshot of this first so let me take a new slide here okay expression for expression for electric field due to uh, electric field at a point on the axial line of an electric dipole so this is what we are do right so first let us consider an electric dipole suppose uh, just wait 
Oh, we have an electric table. Let me uh, first take these two charges. This is positive Q charge and positive. This is negative Q charge. Suppose, right? This is negative Q charge. I have taken here, and let me take this as the axial line of the dipole, and uh, this is the center of the dipole, and this dipole is separated by a distance uh, twice. Uh, so the length of the dipole is supposed to I say let me take this length is twice I now we wish to find the electric field at uh, this point this point is suppose a right we are to obtain the electric field at a. now you see as this charge is positive this this charge is positive Q charge right positive q charge and this one here you see this one is negative q charge so the direction of the electric field due to positive charges as positive charge we know that should be radially outward so it should be directed in this direction so this is suppose electric field due to the positive charge at the point a and due to the negative charge we know in case of negative charge the electric field lines are radially inward so the direction of electric field at the point a that gonna be you know in this direction so in this direction this is the electric field due to the negative charge right minus q at a okay so now let us consider that the distance of the point a from the origin uh, is suppose r let me take this distance from the origin to the point a be suppose r then what will be the distance of this point a from the positive charge so this is a right this is also a that's why the dipole length is twice a so that's why this distance from positive q charge to the point a that will be equal to nothing but r minus a okay and the distance of this point a from the origin sorry not origin from the minus q charge that gonna be equal to r plus a r plus a because this distance is r then this part is a so that must be r plus a right hope you have understood this so now let me write what i have considered here let a be the point on the axial line of an electric dipole equal uh, dipole of uh, you know equivalent opposite charges plus q and minus q separated by a very small distance twice a where the field uh, you know electric field is to be determined and uh, here you see this distance a between the center of the dipole O and the point A is uh, R we have taken that is R now you see the distance from the positive charge this positive charge to the point A is R minus A we know that uh, electric field at a point at a distance R from a charge Q uh, that is uh, given by that is given by K q by r square right k q by r square so here the charge is uh, small q and the uh, distance is r minus a so distance is r minus a so that's why uh, that's why electric field electric field electric field at a due to positive q is just uh, let me cut this one let me write here e positive e is equal to k q by instead of r square now we have r minus a whole square right so if you write this one in vector form uh, then you have to consider 
this is a positive x-axis right let me take this is positive x-axis so now the electric field due to the positive charge is in uh, is along the negative x-axis in the direction of negative x-axis this is x this suppose so that's why we're going to use here minus i cap right and uh, electric field uh, if you write the scalar form then you can write this uh, right now you see you can proceed two ways uh, in order to find uh, if you want to find the net electric field at a if you find the expression in a scalar form first then you have to subtract the electric field due to the negative charge from the electric field due to the positive charge because elect uh, positive ch this point a is close to the positive charge it is nearer to the positive charge compared to the uh, negative charge that's why the field due to the positive charge is stronger than the field due to the negative charge so that's why the resultant should be pointed towards the negative x-axis so that's why electric field of uh, you know net electric field direction of the net electric field will be in this direction towards the direction of the electric field due to the positive charge right so net electric field be uh, field will be obtained by e positive minus e negative now you see if you want to obtain the expression in vector form directly without obtaining the scalar form then you have to write e net is equal to the e positive vector plus then you don't need to give negative sign because let me tell you why you see electric field sorry electric field at a due to minus q that will be given by let me represent it by e negative k q by the distance of this point a from the negative charge is r, r plus a so here we're gonna have r plus a whole square r plus a whole square here we have to write a cap because the electric field due to the negative charge is towards the negative charge uh, we know the field due to the negative charge is radially inward this is the negative charge then electric field lines should be directed towards the uh, you know charge so that's why here is the negative charge so direction of the field at point a should be towards the negative charge that is along the positive x-axis so here we have put i cap so here you see in a scalar form if you proceed this way then you have to put minus because e positive is stronger than uh, you know it is greater than e negative and they are in opposite sign sorry they, they are in opposite uh, direction that's why you need to subtract but when you write in vector form they are gonna deal with the direction themselves okay that means though we write here positive sign when we're gonna put uh, these expressions here we're gonna get the negative sign because of the minus icon right so that's why we don't need to put here minus sign just we have to uh, obey the vector addition rule right so that's it but if you if you want to obtain the scalar form first then if you want to uh, if you want to scalar uh, you know if you want to obtain the scalar form first then the vector form then you can do it that way as well but in uh, taking a scalar form you have to write e that then that, that means the net electric field is equal to e positive minus e negative right so let me show you just wait so in a scalar form uh, the you know that means magnitude of this e negative field that is given by um, you know k q by uh, that is equal to k q by r plus a whole square that's uh, what is k here k value of k is you know 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught that is equal to 9 into 10 to the power minus sorry 10 to the power 9 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square that's what uh, that is what uh, the value of k so let me go to a new slide here you see so i have taken the uh, drawn the diagram here again so as yes, uh, you see this uh, just wait so let me copy this expression first this one 
uh, and uh, another is this one sorry this is another expression right we're gonna use these two results okay so here you see since this value of uh, electric field due to the positive charge is greater than the magnitude of electric field due to the negative charge as a is nearer to the positive charge positive q charge so net electric field at a due to the dipole is given by e net is equal to magnitude of e positive minus magnitude of e negative right so these are the expressions that we're going to use so that means we're going to use kq by r minus a whole square minus kq by r plus a whole square right so kq is taken common then we can take we're gonna get here one by r minus a whole square minus one by r plus a whole square right so let's take lcm k into q on taking lcm here we're gonna have r minus a into r plus a whole square and here r plus a whole square minus r minus a whole square that's what we're gonna have so we must know this a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square that's gonna give you 4ab right so if we apply that here then we're gonna get kq by sorry kq into 4 uh, r a divided by so I apply here a plus b into a minus b whole square uh, sorry, sorry a square minus b square formula so that is r square minus a square whole square here we can write a plus b into a, a, we can apply a plus b into a minus b that is a square minus b square so that's what we have done so now you see uh, so now what we can do here let me uh, copy this and let me go to a new slide okay so this is the last expression we have got so here it can be written this way so this 4ra it can be written as 2 into 2ra so then what we have done here we have q so we have written k 2r q into twice a because q twice a is nothing but uh, you know q twice a is nothing but you know dipole moment right dipole moment so here what we're gonna get just wait so we can write this way right so this is replaced by so this is replaced by dipole moment p so here you see we can say p uh, this p is equal to q into twice right this is nothing but dipole moment right and direction of the dipole moment let me draw it cleanly uh, sorry. just wait just wait so here you see this is positive charge and we know the direction of a dipole moment dipole moment of a dipole is uh, you know directed from the negative charge to positive charge and one more thing here uh, this e positive is stronger that electric field uh, due to the positive charge is stronger than the uh, electric field due to the negative charge at the same point a because a is nearer to the positive charge that's why the resultant uh, or the net electric field direction of the net electric field will be directed uh, in the direction of the stronger electric field that is e positive that will be in the direction the net direction of the net electric field will be in the direction of the electric field due to the q positive charge so and and this is same as the dipole moment direction of the dipole moment 
so that's why if you write in vector form this is the scalar form scalar form of the required expression right so now if you write this one in vector form then you can write net electric field that's going to be equal to k to r p by r square minus a square whole square right now you see now you see if you get the net electric field in the opposite direction of the dipole moment then this expression gonna be negative because uh, if you get the electric field in the opposite direction in the opposite direction of the dipole moment then uh, if you put the dipole here then you should put minus p because of the opposite direction right so hope you have got it so as we have uh, got here that uh, the net electric field is directed in the same direction as the dipole moment so this uh, this is positive now right this is now positive so now you see now we have to discuss another case here that is for you know for sorry for r is very very get r than a that means here you see this point is you know distance of this point uh, a from the center of the dipole o is very large compared to the separation between the two charges in that case in that case r will be very very greater than a then we can neglect then we can neglect a square in this expression so then the above uh, this above expression becomes this k to r this is p dipole moment by r to the power 4 neglecting this then we're gonna get r square whole uh, r square whole square that's gonna be you know that's gonna be r to the power 4 then if this r cancels r to the power 4 then we're gonna get r to the power 3 then we're gonna get e net is equal to 2 you know or you can write uh, sorry k into 2 p by r cube that's what we're gonna get right that's what we're gonna have right so this is the expression for the uh, this is the required expression you can say this is the required expression and from here we can conclude that this net electric field is inversely proportional to r cube right so that's what we can say right so hope you have understood this if you like my video please uh, share with your friends and hit the thumbs up button and also hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded so thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye